Hello everybody and welcome back to <laughs> Horizon Forbidden West where I just spent the last 20 minutes having being terrified because I couldn't get this to work. I think one of my HDMI cables is starting to crap out so I'm really hoping these recordings work. <laughs> um, I'm terrified and I'm also terrified to move anything even though things are in a slightly suboptimal state over on my right where all my recording equipment is and I am now actually probably uh, so thank you to patrons I'm going to be able to afford a new HD HDMI cord and a um, probably a new Elgato even though this one served me well so I you know I'm kind of like oh I don't know like do I need it you know but it'll be nice so but yeah I think at least one of the HDMI cords is starting to crap out so hopefully these work it was giving me a little bit of problems yesterday like a little bit of issues but it resolved itself and I was like, mm, okay. And that's why I was like thinking about it. And I think I mentioned it in a couple of the last videos of getting a new Elgato, but I do think it's actually an HDMI issue. That's usually what the issue is for me anyway. If anybody ever wants to start recording anything ever and doing YouTube stuff, make sure you get really good HDMI cables. And if anything's ever an issue, it's most likely your HDMI cables. I learned that the hard way with my very first series, Mass Effect 3. <laughs> And uh, I ended up, I was using like the cables they give you, right? Like just like the regular like cheapo H HDMI cables that you get when you buy like a computer or the Elgato or whatever. And um, I, just make sure there's no cool animals around. Um, oh shoot. That's weak against shock. Oh good. Um, yeah, I was having major tear issues, and as soon as I got, like, upgraded uh, cables that are gold-plated and, like, spent, like, 80 bucks on them, uh, they worked much better. <laughs> so, like, it, it stopped screen tearing. It was just, like, it was just, like, a, it was just too much information. It was trying to parse, like, both ways. There's the waterfall, and killer machines, as promised. So as soon as I, you know, got... I'm right. There should be a little... Oh, yeah, yeah, here. yeah. That's right. I might be able to find that's it. That's right. That's what we We had that. I think that was in the lure stuff was um I think it was a quest in Horizon Forbidden West. Like we, was was there one in or Horizon Zero Dawn? I don't think there was one in Horizon Forbidden West, but in Horizon Zero Dawn, there's like an Osirum yeah, there's an Osram who, like, finds a lure and accidentally activates it, and it kills, like, a whole village. And he survives, of course. Shock. I don't want vertical. I think, actually, vertical is the only kind of shock, but... So what I will do is I will use... Dang it. <laughs> Gonna have to use my new one that I got, <laughs> that I'm angry about. Kind of. Ugh. Oh, and they gave me full. Nice. That's really nice. I'm glad that they do that. Oh, no. Hang on. I'm going to go over to that one so I can reach them easier. Because back in the day, it didn't really matter how far away you were. You, if you could see it, you could shoot to it. I mean, you couldn't, like, shoot straight out. Which, but I never tried that, you know? The scorchers one wrong look away from a firefight. Weak versus ice. I don't have ice traps or... Trip wires for ice. Which is unfortunate. Right? Like, I don't... I can't think of anything else I can do. That involves... Like, laying a trap made of ice. Yeah. I don't know if it'll actually take damage from this. It should take a little bit of damage from this. But because it's weak, I think it just enters the shock state faster. Like, or, like it reaches that environment. Oh my gosh, it's really cool looking. Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh, look at that. It didn't even actually reach that state faster. Oh jeez, what do you do? No point using fire against that. Oh, hold on. Let's look. Oh, I should have checked to see if it had sensors. A scorcher. That's a frost claw. 
Scorcher? It's got like bat ears. What? I just realized like it doesn't. It kind of looks like a cat. It kind of looks like a like a ravager almost. But it does it have a okay? It's a highly sensitive scanning device. Cool. That's super cool. Reinforced power source. Okay. Or leave intact. Add loot to the carcass. Tear off to collect the resource or shoot with a purge water arrow what used to launch mines that explode on proximity sick <laughs> maybe I will actually try an advanced advanced vertical this is why I moved away from there because uh, I don't want to be oh you know what I could if it is weak to shock the, not that, this ability down here would be good. As a last resort, potentially. I don't have enough points to act, well, I thought I had enough points to activate the other one. If you switch, does, oh no. If you switch, does that mean it takes away your valor? I didn't think that was a thing. This also gives me high point vantages. Okay, but where's the word? Let's see if we can see the lure. I don't see the lure. Nope, I don't I don't see anything that's like pulsing. I don't see any like traps around here I could drop on it yeah oh that is that one no hi oh my gosh it's so cool looking yeah those are just grapple points I think See if that does anything. Go over here. <laughs> it's a little close for comfort, but it's okay. Okay. I realize this is not super exciting. I think what I actually might do, if I can get to my, let's see. Increases the effect of traps and trip wires. This would be interesting. I don't know if I've used it yet. Um, with the launching a set of hovering mines around you. Don't do it. It hasn't been scanning this area yet, but I'm, I think it, it just regularly pauses there. I wonder if I could get it to... Wait. Oh, actually... one right next to it. Let's see if that will do it. Don't scan this area. We'll do it. See, I do have Valor Surge for this one. Come on over. Oh, please. I may have activated it too soon. Oop, nope, didn't mean to eat that. Come on. Oh, come on! <laughs> I 
I'm so good at this game. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. Sick. Okay, that was good. See, that's what I was hoping for. Maybe I shouldn't have used two, but I think better safe than sorry, you know? Blast beast. And then I want I try to keep Done. Ooh, at least two of everything. No, you don't see me. I hate these things. Oh no, it's got a scanning feature. Let's see if I can stealth kill it. Hang on, actually I have an outfit for that. Stealth tear, silent strike gain, melee power, silent strike heal. This one. Yeah, yeah, okay. This one is the, where to go? Yeah. I don't think I can silent strike it while it's alerted. But once it walks away, I can silent strike it and see if I can get anything. Turn blue. Okay. Dang it, it goes fast. I'll try to sneak up on this one, actually, and stab it. I was like, what's the... <laughs> I mean, maybe you can come over here. I think I can still silent strike it if it's not, as long as it's not red. Oh, don't do it. Don't do the thing that I think you're gonna do. Oh, jeez. Where are rocks at? Here, let's see if I can... Nope. Where'd it go? Wow, it is far away. And yet it comes over here. I think I can... Oh, it's too far. I can silent strike them from above. Oh, sweet. Look at this. I didn't mean to eat that food, by the way. I feel bad. I don't ever eat it. I, I just on, except on accident, I guess. Look, it'll walk right through. Yep. Cool beans! Okay, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Hang on, let's see... What is it? Long leg. Long leg, long leg. Weak versus shock damage. Well, I don't have my dang nab skill, I think, for it. Yeah. Um, also, let me switch weapons. I have shock arrows somewhere. Nope. Nope. Is that really all? Do I? I know I have a bow with shock arrows. That's not that stupid bow. Or that stupid bow. No way. Did I have I have I had I feel like I've had this realization a few times now. So I need a shock bow. <sighs> I hate these things. Oh. 
Yeah, this is not gonna work. Um, new plan is shoot. I don't know what I don't know what my plan. I don't know what plan is. I could use the tar thing to slow it down. I always stay crouched and I don't know why. Like, I know why, it's because I don't change it, but... Okay. Whoa! There. There is clear. What? Oh, I got it? Better take a look at that lure. Oh. I didn't see the lure. That was only two machines, by the way. Like, I was thinking I was gonna have to do way more. Like, I was anticipating this area to be crawling with them, and it's at level 28, and I am level 28, so I was like, okay, it's gonna be a little rough. You know, and that's fine. I'm going into it. I don't think I'd get anything from them when they're already dead, like even if I exploded them. What lure? Oh. It wasn't beeping at me. Like it wasn't, you know, like it wasn't glowing. I just happened to see, I happened to see the actual shape of it out of the corner of my eye and it was like, that's not normal looking. Very not normal. Check him, PC. Can I... Okay. <laughs> God, I keep looking over and I'm like, Oh my gosh, everything's broken over there. I was having a little bit of issues with one of okay. my episodes. Let's see if I can turn this thing off. Like one or two the other day that I ended up I had to do some like audio readjustment for like I hand here. Oh looks like a log. From something called the Julius? Some Zenith AI? It says local vermin external. Oh my gosh. Was it attracting machines to kill intruders here? Well, at least this lower shut down now. I should head to the cliff, south of the Horus. There might be another lure there. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That's just insane. Like, to get to that point, right? But, like, the, I think the worst part is that it seems like something that's not totally out of the realm of possibility. Whoop. Out of the realm of possibility, right? Like, some people are just terrible. Um, I don't remember what I was saying <laughs> besides that. Oh, just like, yeah, I was having some audio issues, and I haven't, I don't usually have those, and usually it's noticeable, because I'll notice, like, the screen start to tear a little bit, like, on the, on my Elgato. Um, like, and that's why I try to keep it out of the, like, right in the, like, my peripherals, like, not, like, a little further into my peripherals than out, you know? I'm just really upset I'm not seeing any fish, honestly. Like, give me fish. Can I... Dive? No? Yes? I thought I saw... Oh. There it is. Okay, so apparently water, yo, is where, like, the good stuff's at. I'm gonna fall off. I thought I saw... Another one, but maybe not. Oh, it's those monkeys! What are you? You're not a monkey. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? No. Kind of. South of the horse. I guess I could stay up then. I don't need to drop down.
But yeah, it sucks when the audio goes out. <laughs> like it just like desyncs, and I have to I have to sync it back up by hand. Which is uh, which is wild. Let me tell you, I have to do like a bunch of little like cutting and like pasting, and it's just it's a pain. <laughs> And it will try to reset itself. Like it, like usually it ends up kind of working out that like I can just with like the way I have to cut and move and like usually I don't have to cut and paste. I try to like cut parts out to like re-sync up like the like my audio with the game audio. But yeah, it's a, it's a pain. Anyway, that's not why you guys are watching this for me to ramble about that. But this is super cool with the Horus here. Like they're not everywhere. Oh my gosh, there's a mammoth! A mammoth and a thunder jaw! No! Sorry, I'm gonna get a drink of water because I'm dying. See, this is what I was expecting. Come on. Another lure. Oh, there's a lure down there. I've got the machines before I can deal with it. Oh my gosh. So it's just a thunder jaw and a... Okay, we gotta... Ah, oh, crack neck. Oh, wait, let's look at this. What was this data point I got? About... I don't know. The Julius. Received, unchanged, keep on chugging, local vermin exterminated at this node. Yay! Oh, intrusion detected. L yikes, I'm losing control of this node. That's not good. Rerouting to Bravo node. Have a good day. Is this, is this an AI? It sounds like a person, but it's like an a like a, like a weird AI. Not a weird AI, like one that's highly emotive. And potentially crazy. It sounds a little crazy, honestly. Okay, research on... What notebook? There's nothing in the notebook that's... Okay. Thunderjaw. No, oh, Bellaback. Whoa. I'm blind. Thunderjaw. Okay. These used to be easy, at least towards the end, in Horizon for Zero Zero Dawn. Like I said, like I've complained many times before, I would just knock these guns off and use it against it. And it was fine, but now, especially that like, they have like limited ammo, like more limited ammo in there, and oh, it's and maybe it is like if it uses it in the fight more, then you have less chance of um like it uses its ammo up in there and it keeps track of that. So when you pick it up, it's not like full ammo capacity. It's uh it's used it up a bit. Uh its tail. So here's the thing, is traps only work so well if, until you want to get components off. Like, there's a chance that you could... Oh no, it's say like, this is one that's destroyed when it's killed. Yeah, so you have to try to, like for me anyway, with this sort of a thing, I try to get it down as low as I can with traps, and then go all in, but even in Horizon, for like Horizon Zero Dawn, like I ended up just fighting these hang things head on because of the pulse arrows that I have, the tear arrows. Because they are so good. But this thing, what did it say? It was weak. It's weak to purge water and acid, but not frost and shock, so that's good to know. And then the mammoth. <laughs> Weak to frost, like by weak we mean not very weak. Uh, the tusks, the guns. Oh my gosh! Fires a devastating track of plasma. That's right. Shoot with a shock. Oh, those are so tiny. Blaze storage. Oh, another big gun. This gun's on the front. Where they're not these ones. They're not. I wish I could turn. I'm trying to turn the 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 mini or whatever, and I can't. Yeah, I'm trying to like because it's above the tusks. There's another weapon, and yes, it does have sonar. Awesome. 
Destroy to disable the ability to amplify allied machine attacks. Ah, oh, that's just great. Look at those. What? I can't even see that. Oh my gosh. This thing is, this thing is so many. Okay, it's the priority. It is the priority, the mammoth. And now am I going to freaking get down there? I really don't want to be down on, like, ground level with these things. But I, in order to do my traps, that's what I'm going to have to do. Let's see. Let me... Shoot. That's what we need. Thank you all so much for watching. I had to cut it off here for a bit because uh, the episode got really long. We had to fight a lot more, well, a lot bigger creatures <laughs> are coming up. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a little bit of an experiment uh, that has me, I think, kind of chatting a little bit more as I'm like laying traps and waiting for them. So I, I won't do it too often probably, um, but it works out for me editing-wise when I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> but also it's like I, uh, I'm curious if people are interested in, in watching a traps, like, uh, was it, like build? A traps build work. So... If it's boring, let me know. Like, I'll try to edit it out in the future. Uh, if you like it, let me know too. Um, or whatever. It's all good. So, thank you all so much for watching. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons, Christopher and Adam. Thank you two so, so much for your support. You're the super bestest, and I really appreciate it a lot. So, thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.